What's up everyone, you got Aspirant Aircraft Maintenance Engineer Prakash here and today in this video, I will be telling you guys the reason why Indigo stopped inducting the new batch of freshers in their engineering department. The reason which I think and which supposed to be is the Pratt & Whitney 1100 Golf Juliet Mike engine problem. Now obviously it is covid times and airlines are going through the tough times so we can't expect any interviews from the airlines but previously like in the end of the year 2019 and in the starting of the year 2020 when the civil aviation was growing like anything that time too indigo stopped the induction of the new batches and the reason which is supposed to be is the Pratt & Whitney engine issue. Indigo has taken the last interview in the month of September 2019 and that too they have not inducted the students they have been selected there. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Indigo is using a total of 212 Pratt & Whitney engines and Goyer is using a total of 86 that engines in their A320 new aircrafts. Indigo reported their first failure of the engine on January 2017 and Goya reported first problem with this engine in the September 2018. On October 2019, DGCA directed both Indigo and Goya to replace their unmodified Pratt & Whitney engines by the end of 31st January 2020 on their entire fleet and the deadline was later postponed or pushed to up to 31st May 2020 and now due to the COVID issues it is now more pushed up to 31st August 2020. Coming to the main topic, what are the problems and what are the solutions by the Pratt & Whitney on that problems occurred on the engines? Number one problem, the high pressure compressor that is HPC rear knife edge seal failure. Excessive heat was causing the failure of the compressor seal. The broken seal was then indulging in between the compressor and turbines. The temperature of the rear end of the dry face seal was increasing than the front end and this is due to the inadequate lubrication. So what is the solution? Pratt & Whitney modified the seal and the flow of the oil to the rear end of the seal was increased. A dry face carbon seal was introduced by the company as a replacement. Number 2 issue the combustion chamber distress. The temperature changes caused due to the difference in the cold and uncold zone because of the repetitive loads caused the distress in the combustion chamber. The problem was that the combustion chamber lining was having some unexpected hotspots which in fact reduces the life of the engine. So what was the solution? Pratt & Whitney modified the combustion chamber and provided it with a more force which will result in more cooling. Number 3 problem, third bearing pre and post mod failures. The metal chip detectors or MCD started reporting warnings. So basically what is MCD that is metal chip detector is it is an instrument which is placed somewhere in between the pipelines where the lubricating oil flown is flown. So it consists of a cathode and an anode. So the cathode is probing inward the pipe and the anode is surrounding that. So whenever some metal particles get eroded from any of the part like gearbox or bearing or somewhere else, then the particle will complete the bridge between the cathode and the anode. And the computer senses that and displays it in the front of the pilot in the screens. The third bearing compartment of the engine was having a seal which was not operating particularly in the higher altitudes. The thin air caused sometimes the seal to oscillate and which in result left some pieces in the MCD and which detects the er eroded part and reported to the pilot pointing to a potential engine problem. So what is the solution? Pratt & Whitney changed or modified the seal to a high classical carbon seal. Number 4 issue, the low pressure turbine failure. This failure appears to be caused by the debris passing through the engine. What is the solution? Pratt & Whitney redesigned the low pressure turbine stage 3 blades and incorporated it into the new production one. Number 5 problem, the gear box failure. Pratt & Whitney engines fitted in the A320 Neos are having a diameter of 2 meter and 6 centimeters. This is the engine having a bypass ratio of 12.5 is to 1. So if the diameter of the engine is increasing or diameter of the fan blade is increasing as well the length of the blade is also increasing. So if the length of the blade is increasing the restrictions 
of the rotation for the blade is reduced which in turn reduces the efficiency of the engine that is reduces the SFC or the specific fuel consumption and the noise levels are increased. However, due to the slower speeds of the fan and the low pressure stages of the compressor, the engine was made with a more low pressure turbine stages which was increasing the length of the engine and as well the weight for the engine also. For that, a gear has been introduced in between the low pressure stages of the compressor and the fan which will reduce the SFC and reduce the noise level too. The problem was that the sun and planetary gear combination which was fitted in between the low pressure compressor stages and the fan blade was getting ruptured. So what's the solution? Pratt & Whitney updated the software which in turn reduces the time spent in the excitation speeds which will significantly reduce the chances of the gear fractures. More robust gear was, were designed to circumvent the excitation. Number 6 problem, the N2 transient vibration. This is the factor which is not indulging in the in-flight shutdown of the engine but it was indulging in the ground. There was sometimes a temporary high pressure assembly vibration caused by the piston seal. So what was the solution? Pratt & Whitney redesigned the piston seal of the high pressure compressor. Transient vibration may result in an uncertain removal of the engine but it was not at all indulged in the in-flight shutdown of the engine. So guys these were some of the problems and what are the solutions done by Pratt & Whitney on that problems. If you found the video a bit knowledgeable also then don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any such more problems which is not mentioned in this video and which you know you can put it in the comment section. Share it with your friends so that the issue is spread all over the world. And yes, the quote for the video is, change is the thing which never changes. So admit the change. Jai Hind.